Hello guys, um, you're welcome to MBBS Ninja channel. Um, today we'll be talking about weak loop. Well, but before then, if you haven't liked and subscribed to our channel, please kindly do so because we'll be bringing you crazy updates on applied anatomy um, of the human body. So let's, without wasting much of your time, let's go straight into the business. So with low, uh, hepatic with low, a hepatic with low or with low or with low finger is an abscess of the end of the finger caused by an infection with the herpes simplex virus, which is also known as cold sore virus. Uh, this is a diagram that um, is indicating or a diagram that is indicative of Whitlow. You could see how um, damaged the, the nail looks and um, the inflammation around the, the nail bed. Hepatic Whitlow can occur due to an infection with the herpes simplex virus. Symptoms can include painful blisters, fever, and swollen lymph nodes. Hepatic Whitlow is a viral condition where small blisters form on the fingers and the fleshly area around the fingertips. These sores or blisters are often painful and develop after direct contact with a contagious sore. Okay, this is another um, good image indicating with low. You could see how um, the tip of the finger is looking. Um, inflamed whitish in color I mean different from the you know have having a color that is different from the other part of the finger hepatic pitlow is a viral condition where small blisters form on the fingers and the fleshly area around the fingertips these sores or blisters are often painful and develop after direct contact with a contagious sore with a contagious sore the herpes simplex virus causes this condition. There are two types of herpes simplex virus, um, which is abbreviated as HSV. We have the type 1 and we have the type 2. The type 1 is usually the type 1 usually affects the area around the mouth, the lips, and the face, while the type 2 usually affects the genitals. So you could see the inflammation usually occur at the tip of the finger. At the tip of the finger, it it um, it could occur either um, the fingers of the hand or the fingers of the foot. What are the symptoms of hepe of hepatic whitlow? Hepatic whitlow can develop on any of the four fingers, although the presence of a blister is a common sign of this condition your fingers may become red or swollen before a blister is formed symptoms of hepatic whitlow can appear one to two weeks after exposure to the virus you may develop one blister or a cluster of blisters it can take up to three weeks for the blisters to appear so you could see this is a diagram that is showing you um, a blister at the tip of the finger you could see this area looking reddish in color which is um, indicative of inflammation you could see how this part of it is whitish uh, which is indicative of pus that is building up due to um, dead cells so what are the causes of hepatic with low? You can only develop this condition if your finger comes in contact with type 1 or type 2 HSV. You know, HSV, in the previous slide, we said HSV is herpes simplex virus. So, wherever you see HSV on this video, just know that it is herpes simplex virus. It is the virus that is responsible for the formation of Whitlow. 
so you can only develop this condition if your finger comes in contact with type 1 or type 2 herpes simplex virus which is hsp hsv some people who develop hepatic whitlow have a history of cold sores or genital herpes but this isn't always the case if you have contracted hsv hepatic whitlow may occur as a secondary condition what this statement is saying is that if you have contracted the virus hsv herpes Hepatic, hepatic whitlow may occur as a result or it may occur as a secondary condition that means there is actually a primary condition caused by the hsv virus the hepatic whitlow is like is it is, is more like a byproduct of what was what of, of the underlying condition this can happen if you have an open cut or a saw on a finger that comes in contact with the saw or blisters around your face or genital area the virus can enter your finger through this cut if you don't have a history of hsv hepatic whitlow may develop if you come in contact with the herpes source or blisters which can transmit the virus from one person to another so you could see um this an, is an image showing you the sore at the tip of the finger you could see inflammation around it you could see um this area um uh whitish in color uh, uh it's actually due to accumulation of pus you could see how inflamed the um the end of the finger looks like really looking very sad how does a doctor diagnose hepatic whitlow The appearance of a sore or blister on your finger isn't usually a cause for concern. Some sores are due to friction, insect bite, or injury, and typically heal on their own. However, if you develop a painful pocket of pus called an abscess on your finger and can't pinpoint a cause, talk with a doctor. So if you if you start noticing an accumulation of pus, a pocket of pus, also known as abscess in medicine, on your finger, is a pointer to the fact that you may you may you may have started developing um, whitlow. Doctors can usually identify viral condition based on the appearance of the sore. Or lesions if your doctor suspects a virus a skin swab or blood test can confirm or rule out hepatic whitlow how is hepatic whitlow treated hepatic whitlow doesn't require treatment the condition usually heals within a few weeks without medication But a prescription, but a prescription antiviral drug can shorten the duration of an outbreak. Antivirals are are only effective when taken within 24 hours of developing symptoms. An antiviral also help to lower the risk of transmitting the virus to other people. If a blister ruptures. And an infection develops your doctor can prescribe an antibiotics to alleviate the, the um, inflammation you can treat hepatic whitlow at home by by the by the various ways by taking a pain reliever such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen to help reduce the pain and fever or applying a cold compress or applying a cold a cold compress several times a day to help reduce the swelling that is applying um cold pressure at several times in a day to help reduce the swelling 
you can also um, uh, treat hepatic wheat low by cleaning the affected area daily and covering it with gears. Now, what are the complications of hepatic wheat low? Due to the contagious nature of this condition, you should keep the blistered area covered until it heals. Not covering the area means it could spread to the other part of your body or be transmitted to the other people. Wearing a gloves while cleaning an affected area also prevents spreading the condition to other parts of your body. As a precaution, don't wear contact lenses if you have hepatic wheatloo. If you touch your eye with a finger containing the affected area, the virus could spread to your eye. So um, if you notice hepatic wheatloo, it is not advisable for you to um, use your hand that has come in contact with that area that is sore or that has come in contact with the area that has been inflamed or infected and take that same hand or finger to your eyes because um, there are chances or possibilities of you spreading the virus to your eye which you don't want so um, thank you guys for listening we've come to the end of this video please like and subscribe to this channel mbbs ninja um, we'll be bringing more educative content to you stay tuned thank you